Welcome back in the series, The Blueprint for Success. Last time we looked at the first step, where does success start? And that was the most fundamental part. We talked about your philosophy, your thinking, your school of thought, having the right mindset that really works for you. And today I want to talk about the second step. In this series of video, this is the second video. We are going to have about seven of them in looking at the blueprint of success what are some of the things that you can do to ensure that you become successful if you haven't watched the first video in the description i've put a link for the first video go right there and see it then this so uh, this video will be able to make much sense for you so how do you get successful this is the step number two i will be releasing more videos so i would just ask for a minute like this video and subscribe also turn on the notification so that you can know each and every time we are releasing a new video so now once you have the right empowering beliefs and mindsets and what i call the philosophies then it takes you to the next step and in the next step is choices as we stand as you are wherever you are standing seated you are there as accumulation of all the choices that you have made since the day you were born Maybe when you're a kid, they might have not been your choices, but at this point, it is accumulation of your choices. Now, once you have the right philosophy, once you have the right mindset, empowering philosophy, you are able to make the right choices. Because if you have the wrong uh, philosophy, you definitely will make the wrong choices. So, in the book, I started chapter two with a great uh, quote from J.K. Rowling the author of Harry Potter and in the book uh, The Chamber of Secrets. And this is what he has to say. It is our choices, Harry, that shows what we are truly are far more than our abilities. As much as the abilities count, but it is all about our choices that really helps us even to get the most out of our abilities. So once you make the right choice, it is very important to have the right philosophy because based on the philosophy i gave an example last time um, if you have disempowering mindset for example you feel like money is the root of all evils and you say that is actually not the bible the bible talks about the love of money either is the root of all evils but people take it as money is the root of all evils you find that if that is the kind of thinking and philosophy that you have you will tend to sabotage yourself each and every time you're about to go out there and make a very big deal that will earn you a lot of money because you associate money with evil and you feel like money takes me towards evil. as much as you're not consciously thinking like that if you reflect and look back in your life you realize that some of the choices that you made were actually you actually sabotaging yourself you actually even don't feel confident enough to apply for that job which you know you truly are qualified for and you will be paid a lot of money but you feel uh, I think this place is much safer I know the ropes here so I wouldn't apply for that job I don't want to really stretch myself and that kind of a thing these are choices that are made consciously or unconsciously based on the philosophies that you adopt but if you have empowering beliefs that you know that truly it is the love of money that is rule of, uh, the root of all evils, but you can still have a lot of money and be godly. You go ahead, do that deal, be genuine in what you do. You even apply for that job, go for the interview, confident that you will get the job and you secure the job. So choices, as much as we make a lot of them, they are usually based on our philosophy. So we talked about the fundamental bit. The important bit is getting your mindset, your philosophy, right? Then think about your choices. They will be informed by your philosophy. Now, the other thing that I talk about in the book, choices, is not about the big, gigantic choices that you make. It is the small things that really matter. Like when you get into this building, do you decide I will take up the lift or I'll go up the stairs? Because you know, when you go up the stairs, you are taking care of your physical health you're exercising you need to burn down some calories and it is those small choices compounded over a period of time and you realize that yes every time i get to work maybe our office is five floors up 
and I decide to take the stairs one month down the line you might not see a very much big difference but I can assure you at the end of the year if you're consistent on that you will find some difference so it is not the big choices that really matters as much as they do matter but I'm talking about the small choices very small sometimes they look insignificant choices but they end up creating a very big difference so take a look at uh, the book I also talk about I have talked about how the penny ends up turning into three million how can a small one penny as in 10 of them make one shilling end up into three million right in the book and you need to be able to take 100 percent responsibility of your own choice where you are right now i've said is accumulation of all your choices do you like what you're seeing do you like yourself do you like your business do you like your health physical emotional do you like your relationships you need to take 100 percent responsibility and you can only do that when you have the right mindset and you know that your choices accumulate to who you are so again if you haven't gotten a copy please get a copy of the book the blueprint for success it only goes for 499 bob so in this video in the description below i'll put a link whereby you can be able to order and get your book once you pay you will be able to download a free ebook straight away and you can start reading then come with a receipt to our office and get your physical booklet our offices are in mindeleo house opposite anniversary towers third floor room number six you will see our offices career point solution i really appreciate you sticking in and going through this series together with me so as i said please subscribe to my channel leave a comment uh, below and turn on the notification click on the bell so that you can get to know each and every time we release a new video we have like five more coming in as we review the book blueprint for success and in the comments i would also want you to tell me do you believe that you are accumulation of your choices so far what are some of the choices that you have done now that you have watched this video and you realize they have been unconsciously been informed by your philosophy both empowering or disempowering beliefs that you had i really appreciate if we can be able to engage i will reply to each and every comment that is posted i really really appreciate your feedback stay tuned get the book blueprint for success see you in the next video where we look at the third step thank you